Okay, for all you people wondering why I am um, upgrade, why I'm upgrading to a the new Ryzen uh, R7 1800X, people ask me, well, why why do you want 64 gigs of memory? Why do you need that much power? Um, take a look. This is why. Look at my, this is my Core i7 970 at 3.2 gigahertz, which is the, the factory. I haven't, I underclocked it because it was actually getting kind of hot overclocked. I had it up around 4 gigahertz and it'll do 4 gigahertz on the water right now, but I dropped it down. <clears throat> I dropped it down to factory, the factory settings, just to, just to um, make it, make sure I made it through without it crashing or anything like that because it was getting kind of hot. It's not getting hot now, and this is why is because I this goes on for hours, literally hours of memory CPU usage at 95 percent. Memory 26, 12.6 gigs of 24, so 53 percent of my memory, and I'm not even running anything but basically this. I have um, I was working on my thing in After Effects over here on, on this side. Um, I mean shorten this up because my screen's over there I was working on my After Effects project which is my thing here I was working on that which is typical I'll have that open on one screen I'll have Premiere and, and Adobe Media Encoder I'm just encoding I'm encoding I encoded this this went on so I started this last night encoding so I encoded all this these three or so last night and then I got up this morning and I was like oh I need this other one this H.265 uh, file um, cause I'm going to include it on a, on a memory stick, but I was like, okay, I got to do that. And then I realized, Hey, wait a second. I should make a video and show people the reason why, when I say I need to upgrade from an I seven, six slicks, six slash 12 core. So it's six cores, 12 logical processors. And it's a I seven, nine seventy, which is several years old. This thing's like four, four or five years old now. So, I mean, this is what happens. It's after four or five years, it's time to upgrade. Right here on YouTube, I posted that, you know, I'm upgrading to the new, I, I pre-ordered the new AMD Ryzen chip. I pre-ordered the Asus Maximus, uh, not Maximus, the Asus, uh, let me see if I can find it. I had, I had this, this stuff in my wish list. So I'm waiting for this drive here, this WD Black, uh, M2 2280 and I'll show you I pre-ordered the uh, I pre-ordered this Asus Republic of Gamers see if you go back here see there it is pre-ordered I pre-ordered this release date 3 9 uh, it's supposed to be out on the second so I think they're gonna change this date once it does come out there's my pre-order number 257 I pre-ordered it um, it was it was between this one and the MSI titanium, the the one that's like all whitish color. I don't care about the red, the lights, the LEDs. I don't care about any of that. It, it, this one's good because it'll look good in my black and white case if I make the LEDs white. And I could also make them blue. I guess blue would look good. White or blue. I want to get blue RAM, but I can't find blue RAM hardly anywhere. Blue or white RAM. White RAM would be even cooler on this board. But. So I got this board because it was between this and the titanium and I didn't think $300 for the titanium was a good deal and I love Asus boards and my last MSI board is still running actually in my old 97, uh, i7-920 system that uh, my daughter uses. So that's my old system and it's still running. It's still working. It's an MSI board. Uh, but I did remember having a lot of problems with MSI boards, uh, with that board. I had a lot of stuff that wasn't working very well at the start, and I had to get a bunch of BIOS updates to get it to work. While the Asus board that's in this com in my computer right now has been flawless. It hasn't had any problems. Oh, I did have one. I do have one problem with my USB 3, but I don't go that to the board. I think I went out moving or something. I... There's only two on the back, and I think one of them's loose. So when you plug into one of them, 
it it goes on and off, on and off. Like it, it'll lose the connection with the thing. So if you're trying to copy something from a, a hard drive or something, it messes up. So I got a little USB hub and I plug all my stuff into that and only plug it into the one USB on the back. So I got this one here and the, the thing I'm doing is I was going to order the memory, like I said, but I'm waiting on the memory because I want to get the list of, of memory from the motherboard manufacturer, from Asus. I want to get the list of suggested memory because that's how I ordered my memory every single time. For the last two, the last two times for building systems, I ordered from their suggested list of memory, their list of qualifying products. Because if you go by their list, you have less of a chance of having a problem with the memory. And that's been true from my experience. That's been true. I picked off the list both times, the last two times, and I have had no problems with the memory in my systems, even with them maxed out. This one here has got 24 gigs. I think that's the maximum for the... Yeah, that is the maximum. That's why I didn't go to 30, 32, because the, on this system, I have 24 gigs of RAM, and that's the maximum the x58 chipset would take see the still maxed out look at this look at this 90 91 percent cpu usage look at that just completely slamming 92 percent 95 percent cpu usage. still slamming the cpu and this goes on for hours i slam it i can feel the heat coming off of the off of the water cooler i'm not just a gamer that plays a game for a little while and, and peaks up the system. I need it for that. I do that all the time. I do it at least once a week. I completely re I render out a bunch of files at least once or twice a week where I'll go through. Like I'll edit and do other stuff during the week and then boom, I'll have to render. Usually on the weekend. So I, I edit it all week, that project. Edited all the stuff. And now yesterday I started rendering. Today I'm rendering. I'm going to finish up rendering today. I'm going to build Blu-rays, DVDs, do the cover art, and mail them off tomorrow. That's the way I always do. Uh, don't care about the lighting. It's neat. Okay, great. I can I can control the RGB lighting. I don't even like RGB. I've got RGB lights on my desk. You can see the thing. I've set them to white. I like the white the best. I like to be able to see, and I like the white. It looks clean. I like that. I go, I go with all white light. That's fine. That's what's in my case now is white light. So, yeah, it was between that and the titanium, and I didn't think the extra things on the titanium, it's got, the titanium it has built in, in case you get a CPU with built in Radeon video graphics, that it has the thing, I don't need that, I'm never going to get, why would you get the highest end board, a high end board, a $300 board, and then get the cheapest processor with the built in graphics, I wouldn't do that, there's no point, I always want one without the built in graphics, so I got the 1800X. It doesn't have built-in graphics. Why would you want that? That's for like, that's for like a, a a cheap system. You get the cheap system for the built-in graphics. So anyway, so this is why I this is why I need to upgrade my system, and this is why I wanted 64 gigs of memory, and this is why I wanted the fastest processor, even though I have a 97, an i7 970. Uh, 6 slash 12 core when I play games it doesn't even get close to this any game battlefield I leave this up sometimes on my other window to see what my CPU util utilization is I haven't got a game yet that peaks all these that does this there's not a game I found that did that did this yet so there you go YouTube that's why now you see it's been it's been doing this for a little while let's see what was the what was the time 12 minutes remaining. Yeah, lapse 13 minutes, and I got 12 minutes remaining. So it's a good 30 minutes. So if I can cut back on that time, and all the time, it's not just that. See, that's the thing. If you look at this, you're like, well, it's only 12 minutes. Big deal. What's it? If you add them up, if you add up all these things that I have to render, it'd be one, two, three, four, five. And this is the cutscenes is short. That's like 15 minutes. The full edit's like an hour long. So. These things took hours to edit, uh, to render. This took hours to render. That took hours to render. That took 15 minutes, 20 minutes, or 30 minutes, whatever. 30 minutes, 30 minutes. So that's an hour and a half, just these three. And then these are at least an hour and a half, at least like two or three hours, two hours. 
So this is like five hours total time rendering. Five hours. If I can cut that down to like three hours just by getting a new processor, that would help out a lot. Then I could do other stuff with my computer after it. I could play more games. I could play games more instead of working more. Anyway, have a good day, YouTube. Talk to you later. Bye.